so many different things going on at the same time. Meh. But, <laughs> but um, yeah. So, hello. Uh, it's Sunday and I'm Rosie. As if you didn't know. I just had to turn that down a bit. But yeah. Um, this week's um, topic is stereotypes and, uh, well... I'm going to have to say that I fit into a fair amount of them, if I'm honest. Well, at least seven. I have like a list here. And um, you've all seen this book before. It's I just use it sometimes if I need to write something down. Um, but yeah, so, first stereotype would be short hair. Well, you can obviously see that I do. It's just easier to manage and whatnot, so, you know. And I apparently suit short, shorter hair better, so, you know. Um, second one is, w lesbians hate men. Um, no, that, that's a lie. So, uh, yeah, I have plenty of male friends. I mean, most of the kids in my, in my year. I, I'm actually friends with the guys more than the girls, because it's just easier to talk to them, and they're less bitchy. But, um... <laughs> Girls are always good to have in bed with you because they're cuddly and whatnot, and you know whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, third one I do fit into. Uh, you don't really wear glamorous clothes. Um, yeah, I don't really do that. I pretend. I, I pretend. I don't pretend anything. Um, <laughs> but um, I don't really like to wear dresses and all that bollocks um, I tend not to so that's just me but whatever um, <laughs> the third one I fit into the fourth point that I have uh, I never wear makeup really it's just something I don't do it's effort um, I don't really need to wear makeup because I don't <laughs> it's just something I don't need to do so yeah um, fifth point, I believe. Yeah, um, weight issues. Like, lesbians have to be overweight to be a lesbian. Um, well that's a lie, obviously, because you can get, like, skinny lesbians and really, really fat lesbians. But, uh, yeah, it's just... There's no real weight that you need to be to be a lesbian. Um, I'm a bit overweight, so I guess that applies to me slightly. But um, yeah, you don't you don't have to be overweight to be gay. Um, but yeah, um, in a lesbian relationship, one has to be the guy um, and one has to be the girl, like a butch and a femme. No, that's, that's a lie as well. Um, you, you get all different kinds of people and, and relationships, and yeah, so that's stupid. Um, I don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I fit into this one. Well, obviously you can see again. Um, a checkered slash plaid shirt. I don't really know how to say that word. Um, plaid, plaid. Whatever, it, I just call it a checkered shirt, it's just much easier for me. But yeah, um, I, I wear them all the time. I have boxes with them on and all the rest of it. And it's just, it's a, it's good, it's, it's a good pattern. Um, but yeah, it's just nice, I guess. It isn't the fact that I want to be a guy or, or a lumberjack or whatever. My dad calls me a lumberjack whenever I wear a checkered shirt, but um, my dad's like, my dad, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, that's a point. Oh, leading on to boxes, um, lesbians have to wear sports bras and boxes, I do do that because it's much more comfortable for me, um, I don't tend to wear uh, lingerie because I don't like it, it's just, it's not cool for me. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, uh, 
obviously gay people can wear lingerie if they want, and boxes if they want, whatever, go for it, doesn't bother me in the slightest, just girls seem to be really, really hot in boxes, that's just my opinion. Uh, I don't wear it because I think I'm hot, because I'm, I don't think I am, but uh, it's just comfortable for me, as I've said, but yeah. Um, another one. Softball and basketball are like the main lesbian sports and if you're a girl and, and you play them then you're automatically a lesbian. No, <laughs> you're really really not. Um, that, that's stupid and yeah, that's, that's, that's a big lie. Uh, I don't think that's legit at all. Um, just lesbians tend to enjoy playing those sports. It's just, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I can't say much about it because I don't actually like playing sports. Um, I played netball, like, for a couple of years in primary school and whatnot, but I, I quit that because I couldn't be bothered. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, I'm not a very sporty person, so I can't say much on that. Um, ah, this one. Um, like, if a, if a lesbian talks to you, um, they automatically convert you into a lesbian or in a changing room like if you have a lesbian in say your PE class or something then you like then she's automatically staring at you or something and it's that same it same goes to gays as well like guys and it's just it's so funny because oh I can't even it's just so funny because like all these girls are trying to be all like, Meh. and it's just like, oh, okay. But yeah, it um it actually happened to me, um before, um it happened to me, um in Berlin when I went to Berlin um with my school, a girl in my year didn't want to share a room with me because I'm a lesbian, <laughs> um and she actually told the teacher that, which was even funnier, and uh. Luckily enough, the teacher was a decent guy, so it was all like, lol, okay, whatever. But yeah, um, <laughs> that was really, really funny. But in the end, she did end up sharing a room with me because she got kicked out of her of her old room, and it was just like, lol, okay, whatever. And she, she was being really, really nice to me on the trip, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, another point. Uh, cars are awesome. Not all lesbians think so, I mean... You definitely get the lipstick lesbians, which are all like, they can't break a nail and whatnot. But um, not all lesbians find mechanics enjoyable and cars, like, orgasmic. No, I, I'm not into that, for sure. Um, I like cars, well, I like motorbikes, because they're awesome. I actually want to get a cruiser when I'm older, because they're cool. Who doesn't want a cruiser? But um, yeah, uh, another point, if you listen to Tegan and Sarah, you're automatically a lesbian. No, you're not. <laughs> Just because they're lesbians and most of their fan base are lesbians <laughs> does not mean that you're a lesbian <laughs> if you listen to them. They're just awesome. I mean, who wouldn't want to listen to them? Um, I'm actually listening to them now which is awesome, but um, yeah, they're just, they're cool, I mean, listen to them, just do it, because they're, ah, you can't even explain how awesome they are, but yeah, I, I think I've said awesome too many times in this video, but um, yeah, last one I have, you love cats if you're a lesbian, um, I don't own any pets, because my dad's allergic to fur, and I killed my fish like five years ago um, <laughs> so I'm not really trusted with pets um, but cats, I like cats I mean I'd own one if I could I might get one when I'm older but uh, I'm more like obsessed with cats um, but yeah cats seem to be really really in nowadays with the whole hipster shit and yeah but uh that's pretty much all I have for you. Uh, but yeah, hope you all have a lovely week. 
and I thought I'd have, to have like a change of scenery and come in, come back into my bedroom this week because we've had like two, three weeks without my bedroom and I thought you might like to see my lovely purple wall but um, <laughs> I hope I didn't do, do a pedo face just then but uh, <laughs> um, yeah so I will see you all next week and yeah, bye!